Hello and welcome to our very first of what's going to be an ongoing series here on the channel. We are going to be Stardew Chocolatiers, or at least that's what we're working towards. Um, I just clicked on this. Oh, I didn't know this about Stardew Valley, but uh, apparently you can click on the sign. What the heck? <laughs> Um, okay. Did you, did you guys know this? I don't know if this is a mod I have or if this is like in the regular, I got to test that in the regular game. Uh, okay. Anyway, that was very distracting. Now I have to have this little smiley face cursor. I'm going to hit new. We're starting fresh, fresh, fresh. And we are going to be setting up a brand new farm. So I'm just going to be Dan. The farm name is going to be... Wombus Farm, and our favorite thing is going to be chocolate. There we go. Uh, we will go with, how about this little orange cat here, and then we'll just quickly get our character set up the way we want. Uh, let's see. I don't really have too many preferences that are like, oh, I have to look a certain way. It's, it's just, I want to look... Somewhat decent. I always like this hairstyle. Uh, let's kind of go through the shirts quickly. That's kind of cool. Uh, I like the long pants. And we'll throw on... Are these beards? I can't really tell. Uh, let's go back to like... Yeah, sure. Why not? Eye color will kind of go towards... Yeah, how about green? We'll do that. And then the hair color... We can kind of lighten it up a little bit. Well, yeah, that'll be kind of cool. And then the pants color, we should make it a little bit darker. Okay, so we're going to be using the standard farm. I'm going to skip the intro, and we're going to be trying to do a guaranteed year one completable uh, community center. There's a reason for that, and we'll get into the goals and everything in a moment. But let's hit OK and get this going, and say hello to those of you joining us live. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, me, me, Mo, I think, maybe. Fiona's here. Kit Kat's here. Bringsbane helping us moderate. Dark Queen and Kim and Flip Paws and Purple Apple and Mama Cat. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, ACNH Neptune's here. So here we are. Brand new farm. There are mods. There are mods to make the, this possible. They're all down below in the description if you want to see the all the mods I'm using. And I'll do my best to keep those up to date for you so you can kind of get an idea of, you know, what mods are being used and if I add anything along the way. Uh, so we need to cultivate and harvest a parsnip and introduce ourselves to everybody. Um, so there we go. The farm layout is one of those mods, and it is a really cool layout. It's called... Uh, the capitalist, uh, geez, I knew the name and now that I'm live, I, it's hard to think about it. Uh, capitalist Dream Farm, I believe it's called. And the Capitalist Dream Farm has a very specific layout. Everything on this farm has a place, every, every area. It's huge. And we're gonna be kind of growing into this thing as time goes on, that's the plan. So we want, we want to be a chocolate tycoon. That's my biggest ambition in life, is to only make my wealth from chocolate. There's a problem. We don't unlock chocolate till year two. And I thought, well, I could go ahead and start a, a new save and just skip ahead to year two, which would take me an afternoon, right? And then I, I could start the stream there, or I could try to make it kind of fun leading up to, you know, the unlock of chocolate. So we're not going to be able to buy any cocoa beans or anything like that until we make it to year two. In the meantime, our goal is going to be to complete the community center year one. That's that's our biggest goal, uh, which is why I set it up that way. And that way, we don't have to worry about the pesky community center while we're trying to, uh, you know, make our, our chocolate dreams come true. And I'm going to be doing my best not to acquire too much wealth in that time. I'm not really... My character is not really interested in growing anything but chocolate. Therefore, in school, in farming school, he didn't really study the ways of, of farming, per se. Just everything there is to know about chocolate. So, we're going to kind of, you know, 
do our best to <laughs> not get too rich off of other types of crops. If you play year one right, you can get pretty wealthy. I don't want to do that. I want to make my fortune off of chocolate. So we're going to get through this as best we can. All of my focus is going to be on the community center. That's what's going to keep us busy for the entirety of year one. I'm just clearing off a spot right now because we do need to cultivate and harvest a parsnip. And this little spot is going to be fine for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and till... Oh, that's not quite right, is it? One, two, three, four... I think we need... I'm trying to keep it in the grass. Because this is tillable grass on this farm. Yeah, I think... So this middle bit right here is the sprinkler spot. And I'm just... Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, follow that. That guide. I'll show you in a minute what this whole thing looks like. But let's get these parsnips down. And I do want to read chat, but I wanted to make sure I gave you all of those goals. Uh, we need to talk about end game goals too, briefly. Once we manage to unlock chocolate, my goal is to become as rich as possible, and I want the golden clock. I want to be able to place down the golden clock, only making my money off of all things chocolate. That's our goal. Uh, well, brings me, we don't have any bot, so uh, the rules are down below in the description, but we don't have a bot helping us out with that. I do apologize. Strictly chocolate. Is this a new mod? I don't think it is. I think it has been around maybe for a while, maybe even before the Haunted Chocolatier announcement. I just kind of went on the hunt. There are a few different chocolate mods since Haunted Chocolatier has been announced, and this was my favorite. It's it's the most approachable, I would say. It, it's, pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Oh, boy. My energy is already crap. Can I craft a snack? I cannot. Oh, no. So, in all of my mod research, I tested a few different mods, and the remnants of those mods seems to have stayed behind in my save, which is why these machines are here. As far as I'm aware, these will not work. Uh, I'll probably try and do some research as to getting rid of these extra machines, but yeah, these shouldn't be here. Um... So, ignore those. I do apologize for that. I tested a lot of mods, and I think I kind of busted my save file a little bit. Oh, which is a shame. Um, I'm about to pass out because of my energy. Let's just not chop anything else. So, right now I'm going to go try and find people. I've never come across Stardew Valley before. Really? This is your first time to Stardew? First time to the valley, I meant to say? All right, we met Harv, uh, which is not an easy thing to do. I always lose track of Harvey on my first play, uh, you know, first days in Stardew. And the first quest in Stardew is to meet everybody. First big major quest, so that's what I'm doing. Um, Pierre's gonna be selling all kinds of seeds, but again, stuff that's probably not gonna work is down here. Passion fruit, spinach, all this stuff shouldn't be here. As far as I'm aware, there are no mods installed that support those. So I'm going to have to be careful not to buy that stuff and try to find a way to get rid of it off the save folder. Do I have a favorite villager? Uh, not really. I don't know. I've never... I, I don't pick favorites of anything in life for the most part. But yeah, in Stardew, I don't know. Not really. I, I, like, I like different things about all the different people. So we're just running around trying to shake hands with everybody as if there was never a pandemic. No, all villagers are bad. Not, I mean, didn't mean it that way, but yeah, I guess you could interpret it that way. I'm not even, if that's what, if that's what that red has, I'm not even that mad. Will I be able to do any marriage or friendship storylines? Uh, yeah, I, that, no, nothing is preventing me from doing that. Mostly, I with the mods we have, I added to the game. The, oh, shoot. I keep forgetting about my energy. The only thing that is preventing anything is, is my own will to just get rich off of chocolate. That's the, that's the only limitation that I've set right now. Okay. So I'm just running around trying my best to get this first day complete 
with uh, as many people met as possible. So Gunther doesn't count. No one seems to be hanging out in the library today. I don't know why you even walked in that far. Clint is probably in here doing his thing. Yep. Let's walk around and say hello. Clint's my least favorite. I can tell you that. I think I hate Clint the most out of every character in this game. Clint's shop closes entirely too early. Uh, Clint is a whiny baby. And I hate him. I don't know. Clint's just a very hateable character. So, that I can say for sure. Pam is probably one of the saddest characters. <laughs> just, just very, really, really sad. Uh, I think you cannot meet Sam or... Oh, you can meet Sam. Maybe, can we meet Shane? Shane's hard at work. So Shane ignores us completely. As people working in grocery stores generally do. I know when I go to a grocery store, it's impossible to get anyone to help me do anything. And that's what they train you for in grocery stores. Oh. So, I swung my pickaxe just now. And, uh... The reason I did that is because I captured a clip, and apparently the keybinds for that in Stardew use your tools. So that clip almost made me pass out. <laughs> oh, here we go. Demetrius. I think we met Robin already. You know the hardest person to meet, actually, is Sebastian. Yep. Sebastian stays in his room pretty much always. And yeah, meeting meeting him early game is super challenging. So you gotta get him just at the right time. Okay. Anyone up here? I think they're gonna be removing the big boulder still. Yep. Oh, Linus, we can meet Linus. How is everyone, by the way? Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. Oh, the egg hunt. Do you think we can meet him during the egg hunt? <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you think I wait till a holiday event to finish this quest because the whole town will be there? Does that work? Oh, the boulder goes away. They'll eventually get rid of it. Oh, we're back on our farm. I did not. That was weird. The farm is so different than I'm used to. Uh, so this is the cave that we'll probably end up putting mushrooms in. And this is a minecart system that exists within our farm. So this is just same, my same farm, but I'm at the bottom portion of it. See that? Isn't that cool? We have Grandpa's note over here. Let's go grab this real quick. Wait for my return to the dawn of your third year. Nice. Uh, I want to show you the farm. So check this out. I have a button for it. So I know it's it's hard to see. Um, the screen will probably be bigger than, for you than it is for me right now. But this is the entire farm. We're standing in the top left corner by Grandpa's grave at the moment. And everything you see here is the suggested layout I got from the mod maker themselves. Like they put this as a picture. So you can see that all the plots are laid out there with the radium sprinklers and everything else. Uh, we have two different spots for barns. We have two different spots uh, for coops. Uh, we have a just tons and tons of room to plant. Uh, the only one I don't understand is the bottom corner there where it says bee houses and flowers. That layout is very confusing to me. Uh, this is not Stardew Expanded. I, I think Stardew Expanded is way too expanded for me. But this mod does work with Stardew Expanded if you were interested. Um, but yeah, anyway, the the layout of this was so cool. And it's I'm not really good at laying out farms. Like the farm layout's with all the default farms, have always been the most frustrating part of Stardew to me. So when I saw this, I got really, really excited and downloaded it immediately. But I'm just going to go to bed in the background here while you guys take that all in. Uh, there's a lot to kind of like... I want to follow that guide, basically, that's on the screen right now. And uh, that's my plan. So let's go ahead and skip to the next day. It's a lot. It's a lot of space. But that's why we chose... We chose this one specifically because of its space and its it, how well it was organized. Uh, let's check the weather. We got to make sure to check the TV every day. Forgot about that yesterday. Uh, we have our first letter 
And Willie is inviting us to come down and meet him. Let's go ahead and water these flowers. I'm going to try to keep my energy up today so we can <laughs> hopefully not almost pass out like we did yesterday. All right. There we go. Do I go live every day, eh, Dually? I do not. Uh, usually I make time about once a week. Although coming up here, I, I do have a week free, so I probably will be going live a few extra times the first week of June. Uh, between this and the Animal Crossing channel, I'll, you'll probably see me around. So, yeah. We shared the farm. It's a cool farm. I, I love it. I'm really excited to fill it out. We're going to need the space. I want to get super rich making chocolate. That's my goal, and I need all of the room to do it. There's also some mods I've installed to automate our experience a little bit as, as time goes on. It's not going to be right away, uh, but there are things to help our, uh, you know, little capitalist hearts get everything they desire. We're gonna try to meet some more characters. I, I need to get the forageables. That's also, that's part of the community center. Or that is our focus. It's not picking anything up and I just realized it's because I'm full up. I'm full up on stuff. Uh, let's hit up the shipping bin real quick and get rid of a few things. Am I allowed to do other money stuff till I get chocolate? Uh, only within the confines of completing the community center, if that makes sense. So I need to make some money to survive and I'm going to allow myself to do that, but I'm not going for any min-maxing kind of strategy in the first year or anything like that. We need a chest. Let's do what everybody does and put a chest. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to put the chest inside. Everyone always puts the chests outside the house, and I always think, oh, that's like temporary. I'm going to move the chest eventually. I'm actually going to start with it indoors this time. Already day two. We're cruising. My, I want this community center done as fast as possible. All right, my keyboard <laughs> is Bluetooth and it's being a little bit finicky. I keep like my character will stop walking, and that's just the keyboard kind of you know rapidly connecting and disconnecting, which is frustrating. All right, we'll pull out all these. Yep, I will have to go inside to put stuff away. But that's alright. I like my house. I like my little farmhouse. I don't mind visiting inside. Have I tried to move a full check? What does that mean? Uh, I don't really want to do any quests. I don't like those quests on the board here. Uh, it is normal community center. I didn't do remixed. Because uh, there's already so much going on. I think that would really hurt my brain. We didn't meet George yesterday, so let's go ahead and meet you. Where does that leave us? Oh, to the we gotta go to the beach. Cultivate and harvest parsnip. Uh, 17, that's not bad. We've met 17 people already. We're about to go meet Willie. I'm not a huge rush to meet everybody. Oh, the children are kinda hard to get a hold of at the beginning. If you're going this way, that means your friends might be over here. Remix is fun. Wild medicine bundle. Oh, gosh. I don't think we met Penny yet. Got it. I had to briefly considered doing Remixed, but decided against it. I've been trying to give this some thought. And we already met the mayor at the beginning, I believe. What do I do if I plan on marrying? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. I think I think we just kind of go with the flow. Whoever we're vibing with, right? You know who I've never married is Leah. I think I've married Emily and Haley. Um, and maybe Penny as well. And, or no, no, maybe I've never married Penny. I've played this game so many times, but it's hard to remember. Okay, another... Another person that we could... Oh, here's Haley. We never met Emily, who we could meet at the bar later. Because you're in your room, aren't you? Uh, if the doors are closed, it's not even worth going in the house. 
You always marry Leah? Nice. Yeah, the sculptures Leah has are really cool. I do like that. Okay, luckily we already met Sam. Jody's not home. Marnie. We could try and meet Marnie. We're going to need to be cozying up to Marnie anyway. Oh, what? <gasps> oh, it's Tuesday. Wait a minute. Tuesday's a great day to meet people because they all go and do like yoga and stuff. They they all go to Pierre's and they take over. Yes. Okay. Tuesdays are a great day. Why am I trying to meet all the people? It's your first big like mission. When you get to the town, you're supposed to meet everybody. And that unlocks a lot of stuff. So, you know, story progression stuff. So we do need to do it. There's everybody. Yeah, this is going to be a, a meet and greet bloodbath. Let's get in here. Hello. Hello, my name is Dan. Hello. Hi, I'm Dan. Hello, hello, hello to you. Yep, hello. Nice to meet you too. Yep, blah, blah, blah. Hello, hello. Look at that. Look at all the people we just met. Ice Pixel, how's it going? Welcome. Coming from Rune Factor, I always felt like the girls and guys lacked a lot of personality. Uh, then again, Ape is just one dude. Only so much he can do. Yeah, the personalities in this game... You know, I do I do like them. I feel like every, every it's a pretty linear game compared to something like Animal Crossing. But I think at the start, for for when you're just getting to know everybody, they're fleshed out. But it does get repetitive, right? Like after some time. I'm trying to grab all four spring forageables today. We've only found two so far. So this is why I'm exploring the map all over again. Because uh, we need all of them for the community center. Nice, we got our first book. <laughs> Join the yoga class. I'm not that... Um, I'm not that limber. I'm going to embarrass myself. I know that's the point of yoga is to become more limber. But it's just going to... It's going to become a whole thing. So... Gifting Linus forgeables is a really easy way to gain his friendship. So I'm just going to, you know, if I can, I'm just going to do that once in a while. Leaks are almost, are mostly the back of the forest. Back here, you mean? Or, oh, you might mean the south end of that forest. Okay, yeah, I think I know what you mean. Let's, let's go there. Let's check it out. Why not? I think it rains tomorrow. We won't have to water our crops, which is kind of cool. I think it always rains on day three. What is this? Oh, it's a... <laughs> there was a rock on top of a planter. That's funny. Okay, let's head out to the forest. Ugh, I should just chop through this grass while I'm over here. Okay, so we met Marnie. We the only one we haven't met out of that family is Shane. Okay. Maybe we catch Shane at the bar tonight. We should go to the bar and try to finish meeting most everybody. The wizard is usually the last person you meet. He's got to invite you to the tower, I think. Cuz if I go in there now, he'll be like not allowing us in, I think. I think it's locked. Let me check. Yep, it's locked. Okay. Map layout looks really cool. The The farm layout is, I think, going to be my favorite. I play this game on the Switch these days the, for the most part because I just love playing the Switch. And it's probably, you know, it's probably where I've put the most hours in Stardew. But there are those times where you want to change it up a little bit, play with some mods, and it's going to make it really hard to go back to the Switch if I can't have that farm layout. I love it. I, so much and it's optimized for multiplayer too there's a section um, in the top right corner for cabins and there's if you're I think the default is single player so I'm, I'm doing a single player version of it so instead of the cabin area it's just kind of nothing but in the config you can change it to multiplayer I believe everybody in your party has to have the mods installed too um, but yeah I thought that was an excellent way they did that because everyone gets their own little cabin space and they're out of the way which is really cool I got the leeks uh, or not the leeks I got the um, spring onions that's what I got 
the leak back forest, the one that's behind your farm, Tixie and Robbins. Okay, we did check that. There were no leaks back there. But I do think I have found them in that south area, just not today. Okay, well, uh, let's actually start heading to the bar. I was going to say we could sleep, but I, I'm, you know, as we try to get these missions done, I might as well just stay up as long as I can to meet everybody. I already met you guys. So we'll head up here. Yeah, we should catch Shane very soon. Oh, he's already here. I think, is Shane the last person out of the bunch in here that we need to meet? Uh, yeah, we need three more. One of them is going to be the wizard. Okay. So let's check the social. Oh, okay. It's Maru... It's Sebastian and the wizard. And then Elliot, too. Elliot might come to the bar. Maru might. I don't I don't know. <sighs> Maybe we stay here for a little while. I, <laughs> when you play games, time doesn't pass. I literally had to make a U.S. account and buy a U.S. store credit to get the game on PS4. It's not available in India, but then I still just play on PC because mods and quality of life. Oh, man. That's a lot of trouble to go through just to play a game. Let's just sit here and wait for people to walk in. <laughs> I think this place starts filling up at 8 o'clock. Cringe Frog, how's it going? Welcome. We're trying to meet Maru, Sebastian, and Elliot. Who's the best bachelorette for you? Yeah, I'm not sure yet. I don't, I don't have a preference at the moment. Okay, it's almost 8. Y'all need to be... Y'all gotta be thirsty after a long day of whatever it is everybody does in this town. Eight o'clock. Where are you? Where is everybody? Oh, wait, okay, here's Clint. Okay, Clint. Buzz off. There we go. Okay, so Clint and nobody else. Let's head north. Let's see if we can bump into uh, Sebastian or Maru. I'm thinking this time for the bachelorette of my choosing, I'm thinking it's going to be Penny or Leah. I'm not sure I've ever uh, married either of them. Tired from all the walking back and forth? There's a day where almost everyone gathers, not sure which one. We might just need to... Oh, look, Sebastian! I was going to say, might just need to wait, but... This works. Okay, cool. So we've met Sebastian. Now Maru and Elliot. I'm not going to I'm just going to go straight to bed. I'm not going to worry about those two. Uh Sebastian was the tough one. It's it's always hard to figure out <laughs> where the heck he's going to be hanging. And I don't feel like pulling up the wiki every 10 seconds either. It's much worse on the Switch here. Nothing's officially available in India, so you're in Either importing or buying digital in USD, uh, which is hell expensive. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that changes for you one day. Okay. Hmm. There we go. We can make the field snacks now. Sold some junk. This is 1.5. It is modded 1.5. Mods are down below. Weather report is clear and sunny. Fortune teller says spirits are very happy. Can't really do anything about that anyway. Okay. I use an NPC location mod, which helps a lot since I never remember their schedules. That's I should have got one of those. I might I might still do that. I keep finding cool stuff. My backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Oh, yes. Advertising our backpack. Okay. Crops are watered. Always nice. Always rains on the third day. Let's head out again. And this time we're specifically looking for Maru. And... 
what, what's their name? Elliot. Elliot, you know what? I think it's when, when it's raining, Elliot just stays inside. So we might not even bother with Elliot today. Maybe if we find, we make our mission today to find Maru. And once we do, I just go straight back to bed. My keyboard is like upset. Maybe if I move my phone away from it. I'm just kind of curious. Like, you're not by the beach. It's pretty early. We also should be fishing. It's raining. You know what? Yeah, let's start our day with some fishing. Because there is there is fish in the community center as well. Nothing like a fishing stream. Uh, oh, boy. The bar is very small. I'm not used to that. I'm not used to that. I know it's being merciful because it's my first time fishing, but this is I can already tell this is going to suck. <laughs> Can't you just meet everyone during the egg hunt? There, That's possible. River fishing's better during the rain? Oh. Oh, you might be right, actually. And the egg hunt counts. Okay, see? This is why... This is why we stream. <laughs> Everyone's remembering things that I'm forgetting. This is great. All right, I'm going to go to the river and fish. As was suggested. And then I'm also going to... Nope, I'm done here. Uh, we're also going to probably just hold off to the egg hunt, right? When we get up here, should we check the calendar to see when the egg hunt is? Maybe we'll do that. I just want to know how many days we're going to be speeding through, basically. Uh, oh, wow. The egg hunt's not until the 13th. All right. Well, let's just focus on our community center goals. So we want to catch a bunch of different types of fish so we can complete that as fast as possible. The, In my opinion, get out, Shane. Buzz off. Watch him get pissed. Oh, jerk. Uh, I completely forgot what I was saying now. I'm going to try again. Am I using the training rod? A lot easier when you have a new save. I'm using whatever rod Willie gave me. I've never bought the training rod. Is that... Is that I, I forgot it was a thing, to be honest. Oh, yes, the community center. I've always felt like the fish in the community center, that was like the the hardest bundle to do because if you if you miss a season it's like animal crossing you're waiting to till the season rolls around again except at least in stardew <laughs> it's not as bad because you don't have to wait a full calendar year just makes the bar a little bigger yeah the egg hunt is the like the what, the spring event where you kind of hunt for little eggs Everyone in town part not participates. A bunch of a bunch of the kids in town participate, and um, dang it, that would have been a good fish to catch. What else? Yeah, everyone in town shows up, but yeah, there's like a prize for the person who collects the most eggs, and everyone tries to beat Abigail. Oh, wait, I'm not ready. Ah. Uh. Maybe I will buy that training rod. How much is it? Okay, more garbage for... I don't want garbage. Where's that other... Okay. Alright. Can I get one river fish? The traveling cart, for sure. We can definitely... Do you th is that today? Is it Wednesdays? 50 gold? Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of tempted to go buy that training rod. Oh, a chest. Uh, yeah, this is a puny fish. Look, it's like attracted to the green bar. That's great. Chest. There we go. There we go. I know the shad's in there. That's great. And a piece of coal. Perfect. Okay. 
Annihilate those kids during the egg hunt. Yes. Get out of here. I'm a full-grown adult, and I'm here to ruin Easter. Twelve fifty for the training rod? I gotta clean out my inventory anyway. I don't ever buy it. I'll, I'll take a look. We got nothing else going on. Might as well. I do I do want to clean up this farm though, as well. Like it's gonna look so nice when it's all clean. I can't wait. Oh, you know what? We gotta look for leaks too. Ah shoot. Okay, here. We're doing the training rod another day. I did a little bit of fishing. We got a couple fish we need, which is great. Uh, let's. We need to go look for our forageables. 25 or 50 or something. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. There's a leak! But also, with the fish we caught, maybe, maybe if we catch a couple more, we'll get the level. Maybe. It's just 25 gold? Oh, wow. What are we fishing in the lake for a bit? Look! Oh, oh, wait. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I missed. I'm, I don't think I have a far enough reach for this uh, really hot spot right now. Maybe from the other side? They, they never last that long. No, oh, it's already gone. No, it's there. It's there. Okay. Dang it. Oh, well. Pretty useless once you level fishing. Can't make any good money with it. Yeah, let's not worry about it. This isn't too bad. Like, you just gotta you gotta find fish that are like this, that are very like docile. And then before you know it, you level up and you got you don't have to worry about it ever again. It looks like we're on it now. I don't know how we did that. Ah, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Get in my belly. Yes. Oh, I don't think the chub is needed for the community center. Yeah, we're hitting it now. Oh, the chest. Uh, go, 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 go. Oh. It waited for me. It just sat down there waiting. Boom. I think the carp is one we need. Okay. I don't really want rice shoots. I'll keep the rice shoots, but I don't think we need those. Auto fish mod. I don't want to do that. I'm already using some mods that later in the game will make life really easy. I don't want to... I don't want to take away all the, you know, work. Do you get treasure fish escapes? No, uh, definitely not. Not in my experience, anyway. Um, I don't... Yeah, let's just junk for now. How do I get the carp? Fishing! Oh, boy. Our inventory's already full, so we'll probably make this the last one. Okay, almost lost it. It's just another bullhead. All right, let's go. Do we think Maru is anywhere accessible since we're over here? Sebastian. Heading out. Oh, yes, perfect. This just means we have to meet Elliot and the wizard, and we've met everybody. And then tomorrow our parsnip should be ready? Or the day after? Okay. Once we get everybody, like, introduced to everybody, and then once we get the community center actually open for business, I would like to... Do we need to go to town? Maybe we already have the community center open. You need to you need to walk to town on a certain day or after doing a certain thing, and that unlocks like the story with the community center. Let me just pop in here real quick and see if the cutscene triggers. So 
once we know all that, and once we have like that full scope, I'm going to try and cruise through the days in this game really quickly. Uh, because I do want to get to year two. So once I feel like, okay, we've done as much as we can do with the community center today, I'm just, just going to go straight to bed. Uh, we're not, again, we're not trying to get rich in year one. The fifth. Oh, the fifth. Thank you. Okay, good. All right, community center on the fifth. Uh, yeah, I think we sleep. Mm -hmm. Fishing rod proficiency. I'll take that. Check here for Queen of Sauce. Nope. No Queen of Sauce. Alright. If it's a rainy day, it won't show it? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, I was going to say, where's the water? that finish watering these so tomorrow these will be grown in and we can just go ahead and sell them well no we need to save some for the community center and we do need to grow more because i know that the parsnip is like we need some gold star parsnips uh let's just stay on the farm today and clean up because if, if we get ourselves a whole bunch of sap we can make fertilizer and that'll make the gold star crops a lot easier to come by. So start by taking away all this grass. It's going to be a while before I have a silo, so I don't really care. I'll leave some around so it grows in. Aku, how's it going? We are playing semi-modded Stardew Valley. And we're going to be chocolatiers one day. That's the goal. But first, got to get through year one. Here's some sap. This is awesome. Get ourselves hooked up. You only need three quarters gold star crops. So you can just do corn, melons, and pumpkins. Not a bad call out there. Yeah, I do remember the Gold Star crops, like, being pretty easy, because there's not, like, a ton of them. Uh, we can, let's see. Let's focus on trees. That, do they all drop sap? I can't remember. Let's focus on these ones, I guess. Yeah, tons of fiber. Okay, there's some stuff on the ground that I can't pick up thanks to our very full pockets. Probably would have been in my best interest to go ahead and get rid of some of the tools I'm not using. All the trees drop sap. Okay, good to know, good to know. Then my focus is going to be burning my energy on some trees. Which means I'm going to go inside and we're going to dump everything else. So if I'm not using the fishing rod or the watering can, we'll put those away. There. And yeah, let's, let's do away with some trees. This farm is going to look so good as it gets cleared out. Oops. Don't need to do that. I love how the paths are already laid out for us. It's so nice. There we go. Does anyone else just throw personal insults around at someone if they win a competition instead of you? Or is it just me being a sore loser? If, if you mean in Stardew, yeah, as, as soon as I lose a competition to somebody, that person becomes public enemy number one. My energy is really low, so I'm not going to chop any more trees, uh, but instead we'll just go around and kind of scythe at things. Especially the paths. Paths should not have this much garbage on them. I 
should be my main focus, is clearing off the paths. Oh, there's so much stuff. I think this is a spot for a shed. You gotten used to where the eggs are so you can beat Abigail? That's good. Yeah, you really gotta study up for that first egg hunt. Okay, we got a little narrow path over here. This is where I think another shed goes. It was labeled as shed slash garden. I'm not sure what I would grow over here, <laughs> but I guess if we put down a shed, we can we have a little bit of space in front of it to grow some stuff. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, earlier I was showing this off. This is the map kind of diagram that I'm gonna follow as we build out the map. So that top left corner says shed slash garden. it was Sean mostly? Do you mean Shane? I don't know if there's a Sean. Unless you were playing like Stardew Valley Expanded. Maybe then there's a Sean. Time to feed my cats and have lunch. Alright, Sewell, we'll see you later. Enjoy your lunch. I hope your cats also enjoy lunch. Okay. Let's pick up all this stuff. Uh... My energy is so low. I don't know how much more time I should spend, like, chopping away when I could just sleep. Because I think you guys said on the 5th, the community center cutscene will trigger. And we do need that. We do need that to happen. I could have been going out and foraging today. And instead, I just chose to stay on the farm and clean up a bit. Ugh. It's so... Kind of making it my mission to clear off these paths right now. At least of these uh, weeds. Look, there's a nice little picnic area by the river. That's awesome. So cool. Oh, there's even more. I thought we were at the end of it. There's even more stuff. <laughs> So many paths. Oh my gosh. Yeah, cleaning up this farm is going to take ages. It's so big. <laughs> Look at all the grass down here. I don't want this. Get out of here, grass. Slowing our roll. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just going to start heading back. I think we, we should just start heading to bed. Ugh. Anyone else here played Stardew uh, with mods in the past? And if so, what are your favorites? This little intersection here. Uh, I do recognize that from the picture. My goodness. Weem cast, how's it going? If I had to, if I had to do that much work, I'd give up the clearing after one weed. It's it's a lot. It is a lot. We don't have to do it all at once though. And once, once you clear off the whole thing, it does kind of grow back, but it's nowhere near this bad pretty much ever again, as long as you tend to it. I haven't even played regular Stardew. Really? Ah, this is one of those games where I assumed everyone's played it by now. It's great. It's definitely one of my all-time favorites. Okay. So we did some work around the paths. Never played modded Stardew. Let's go ahead and clear out our inventory again. Grab those. Let's just sleep. Go to the next day. Only played it once. Always wanted to, but I don't know how. Mods, nope. Getting whiplash every time I see the map 
and the farm. So there's a website. I linked it in the description. I linked all the mods, but then the website where you get mods is linked down below as well. Uh, judge of our customers, our team members have removed the landslide. Okay, so the caves are now open. And then get out of here, trees. It's trying to grow back already. So yeah, you can use the Nexus Mod website. I recommend downloading Vortex, which is the modding application. It'll help you very easily mod the game. There's YouTube tutorials as well, I imagine. Um, you know, so if you have the PC version, or probably the, I'm guessing the Mac version as well. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, it should be possible. Whoa, I still didn't get the cutscene for the community center. It is parsnip day. Do I have to finish the parsnip quest? Huh. Do we need to go to the caves? Let's harvest the parsnips. Let's uh, go to the caves. I think I'm gonna sell most of the parsnips. Do we need to keep like five, I think, for the community center? I don't remember. I'll sell most of them. And then buy some more crops so we can make a little bit more cash. Here we go. All right. So we got a hundred for that. We got to build a coop and reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow, which I think we probably just did farming level one. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and just till this soil. I think this is 25 seeds right here. And then 10, 15, 20, 25. Do it again. We're going to we're going to buy a few different types of crops and just plant them all. Flip, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so that's 50 different seeds we can buy. And then all 15 parsnips are just... Um, standard. They're not gold or anything. So let's sell 10 of them. And then I want to... Oh, well, we should probably clear our inventory if we're going to go shopping. So let's do that. So what did I say? We we're going to buy some seeds and then what else? We're preparing for the community center. So we buy some seeds. Oh, and we go to the caves just very briefly. I think we go in there just to poke our heads in, you know, maybe, maybe get the first elevator unlocked. Hmm. We got it. Oh, it just had to be after a certain hour. This is great. Perfect. I'm going to skip this because I've seen it like a hundred times. Yay! Okay, now we can see... Oh, okay. We can't see what we need to put in the community center yet because we need to have the wizard invite us to the place. And just in case the letter doesn't come tomorrow, I'm going to walk in here. I'm going to interact with a little tile on the ground. And that's just to ensure that tomorrow we get the, the letter to say, oh, that says from the wizard, oh, come see me, blah, blah, blah. Because we can't understand this yet. Yep, okay, got it. Are there any kind of weird mods like money laundering or bank robbing mods and so on? You know what's funny? Um, there probably are. There is one mod that I did download just for fun. Let me see if I can demonstrate. Rather than tell you, I'd rather show you. Um, no. Maybe not in here. No? Oh, wait. What's this? Full of exercise equipment. Okay, well, it's a shoplifting mod. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to have a shoplifting mod. You can murder people. No, I didn't get any murder mods. It'd be a pretty dark way to approach Stardew Valley.
Caves. We're going to the caves. Oh. Till this up. What's this? Mm. Coal. Nice. We have a pretty decent amount of energy. I think getting the first elevator should be fine. Oh, a leak. Don't mind if I do. All right, skip this. We get a sword. Let's put the sword in our first slot. Just kind of move everything down. All right. Excellent. I like the pickaxe actually here. There we go. Cool. We did it. We're on our way. Cassandra, how's it going? The shoplifting mod's funny. I I saw it while I was just kind of searching through random mods, and I'm like, yes, please. One shoplifting mod. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, ouch. Oh, I forgot. I'm kind of weak. Wait, I'm not ready. Oh, wait. Oh, it's flanking me. Get out of here. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so... I'm in so much trouble. Hold on. Oh, we got a ladder already. Ow. This thing's kicking my butt. Go, go, die. Oh, shoes. Here. Um... What do these give me? One defense? I've never gotten those so early in the game. Okay. I can't pick up copper. I can't pick up slime. Our inventory is full, and I don't want to get rid of anything, so we won't do the first elevator. All right. I can at least <laughs> get back up here for beating me in the competition three years in a row. All right, we got shiny red shoes. <laughs> Reiku, thank you very much. I know lots of very entertaining YouTubers, though. You just got to know where to look. We're going to head down and... Wait, so we got the community center. Yeah, let's just let's clear our inventory and sleep. Keep skipping days. Oh, wait, we never bought our seeds. Ah, shoot. I forgot. I completely forgot. That was like, we never even went and saw Pierre. We do need to make enough money to at least afford a backpack upgrade. That That is a thing. Oh, see, and here's, here's the other problem. I keep doing this. I get halfway to town and realize, oh, crap, my inventory. It's full. Yeah, we, we've got to make that a, a goal. My only rule for myself was like, don't, don't min max, don't get rich until we get chocolate. Perfectly allowed to make a little bit of cash. Try to get a backpack going. How's your day so far? Good, thank you. How about you? Um, yeah, we're. This is our first stream on this new series, and I'm really excited. Been looking forward to it for quite some time. And yeah, doing good. So far, so good. Everything's kind of going according to plan. Reach level five of the mines. Sneak in here and look at the seeds. So, cauliflower, potatoes. Do we need bean starters? I don't remember. Let's do five of these. And four cauliflower. Really? That's all I can afford? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Dang. So now what? I guess I could sell something to get one more cauliflower. I was going to buy way more seeds than that. I did not realize how expensive that was. Crap. Okay. 
I need sap. And then we need to sell some stuff. Will that sell for anything? Enough to buy one cauliflower? I mean, I could sell... You know what would sell for more? Is the silver bullhead. And then, yeah. Let's just sell the extra the, of those. Remember a game called Lakeview Valley where you play like a serial killer? I've never heard of that. <laughs> oh, why? Why? There's one called uh, Grave. Grave. What's it? God, does anyone else know? It's like a. It's like Gravekeeper, Graveyard Keeper, something like that. Everyone compared it to Stardew, but it's a lot darker. Like you play a graveyard. Ah, oh, Pierre's gone. You play a graveyard keeper, and I didn't like it very much. I just kind of got, I don't know, bummed out by it, I guess. The the graphics are obviously more gloomy, and the premise is gloomy, and the, the goals and stuff in it were not my favorite. I can't sell anything to Joe Jamart. <sighs> you ask why, they say why not. Well, our dreams of buying a fifth cauliflower have come to an end. But that's okay. That's all right. Oh, oh, brings me. Those were, those were fine. I see what you did there. That's okay. That game's the same price as Stardew Lakeview Valley. Yeah, I'd want to see some reviews for that first. Is that new? Oh, we can't make fertilizer yet. You see that? I guess we got to get level one farming. Uh, I'm going to wait. I, I just harvested the parsnips. We should, to buy tomorrow, we should be able to make the fertilizer. So I'm actually going to wait. And we'll have some money too. So that'll be good. I should keep those. Hmm. Yep, fertilizer and scarecrows. 2019. That's okay. Newer than Stardew. Okay, we gotta make fertilizer. It's raining. Nice. That'll save us some time. Okay, there's some fertilizer. And we have to buy a couple more seeds. And the wizard has invited us to his tower. That is awesome. So we have our goals for the day. Buy some seeds. Say hello to the wizard so we can learn how to speak Junimo or whatever. And then we can finally see what the heck we need for the community center. Eighty-four percent, five hundred four recommended, but I'll try it myself. Yeah, that would be an interesting twist. I love Stardew. Eighteen million sales isn't enough. Should we just go to the wizard first? I just realized how early it is. I guess we go to the wizard first. What have I brought upon this innocent channel? <laughs> it's true. That's I, I think that's an interesting concept. I I don't want to play it. I'm not sure I would enjoy it very much, but I bet it's funny. Okay, we'll we'll go ahead and quickly skip the very trippy wizard cutscene where he makes you drink some kind of mystery fluid and from there you can read a new language with relative ease. And then we'll see all the things we should be focused on for the community center. Skip. All right. There we go. So spring forage, we just need to find a wild horse radish and that'll be done. Uh, and then there's exotic forage, which we'll be working on as time goes on. Construction bundle. That's not bad. 
I think the 10 hardwood is going to be the hardest part of that, obviously. Uh, but this stuff, very doable. Okay. So the crafts room is the only one we have right now, but that'll change very quickly once we find this horseradish, in fact. Lakeview Valley is the name of the game everyone's talking about. So it's apparently Stardew Valley, but you play a serial killer. Instead of a, a you know, <laughs> fun-loving... Happy-go-lucky farmer. I guess you farm people? I am going to look down here to see if there's a horseradish. No. Oh, man. We need to find one of those. Every time we do a, a bundle early on, we unlock another, a whole other room. Oh, here we go. Yes. Done. Okay, perfect. Now we go buy some seeds, put the horseradish in the community center, and that unlocks, I think, the pantry. Good. We're on our way. So for those who joined a little bit late, our first goal is to make it through year one by completing the community center at the same time. We're not looking to get rich, so I'm not spending my money on a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not even trying to earn that much money because I want to be a chocolate tycoon. Oh, here, let's let's unlock the pantry before we do this because I don't know what seeds to buy. Let's try to be quick here. So that's the first goal. Once we unlock chocolate, my main overarching goal is to get the golden clock. Only getting rich off of chocolate. All right. Oh, we didn't bring everything. Oh, I'm such a buffoon. Okay. Let's put the parsnip or the horseradish away at least. And let's go grab the rest of the stuff. Oh, curse my tiny little backpack. Are we even going to have time to go shop for seeds? Or am I just... This takes 10 days and this takes 12 days. Oof. Your view rate decreases because everyone moves to Lakeview Valley. I'm sorry. It wasn't personal. <laughs> well, I stream the whole series. That's my plan. I want to stream this from, from start to finish. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe there'll be video recaps or something. I, I haven't thought that far ahead. But yeah, that is my, my ultimate goal. To stream it. Okay. Put this stuff away and then grab... Let's grab the parsnips because I think I'll need those as well. And the leeks. Got all that. I think we can put some in the construction bundle. If we chop just a little more wood, I can complete the two different types of wood in the construction bundle like right away. My keyboard. Oh, it's just not letting me move. It knows I'm in a hurry. Okay, that's 200. Uh, that's two more than we need. Neptune, we'll see you later. I've been playing for about two months. It's a nice change from Animal Crossing. Oh, you've been playing Stardew for about two months. Nice, Mama Cat. Are you? What are you playing on? Switch? We had an awesome Animal Crossing stream last night. So fun. I even played later uh, on my other Switch and uh, made another happy home. Oh, I'm doing it again. Okay, Pierre, not yet. Let's complete the bundle. I don't know why I brought so many extra things. Maybe we can sell them? Let's do that. AC isn't Assassin's Creed. No, uh, Animal Crossing. All right, boom, boom, boom. And, oh wait, uh, we missed a boom. What happened? Boom, there we go. Dumplings are all right, how's it going? Okay, we got 30 spring seeds, which I have absolutely no room for at all. I don't want to throw this away, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Construction bundle, there we go. So now we just need 99 stone and 10 hardwood for that. And we've unlocked the pantry. 
Perfect. Oh, and the fish tank. Or the bulletin board? Nope, fish tank. Excellent. Okay, love that. Oh, okay. So, one parsnip. Then we need one green bean, one cauliflower, and one potato. But I think for the golden quality crops, five golden parsnips would be really awesome. So, we need to make parsnips a goal, like, immediately. And then the rest of the crops for spring, we just need one of each. So this is easy. I, I'm going to buy one more cauliflower just for fun, probably buy five potatoes, and then the rest are parsnips. Awesome. This is already going really, really well. All right, in here... Pierre, don't you go anywhere. I'm, I'm not done. Uh, let's sell these. And let's sell these. So that'll give us a little bit of a boost. Well, let's buy one cauliflower. Now we have five. And then five potatoes. And I can't... Uh, let's just sell the parsnips. So we can buy... Let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty-five. Perfect. That's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Is the community center like some side quests? The community center is like the main quest in Stardew Valley. So like, you get an option. And I, I went ahead and chose the community center option. There's two ways you can play Stardew Valley. You can choose to do what I'm doing and complete the community center. Or you can choose to ignore the community center and join what's called Joja Mart, which is like the big corporate, uh, you know, Goliath company that that lives in this little town and everybody like you know Joja everybody hates Joja that's kind of the, you know the Animal Crossing or the, sorry the Stardew community hates Joja and uh, you know I, I'd be very nervous about streaming uh, a Joja Mart run to be honest because I don't want to be shunned so it's just another way to play the game and uh we went the, the nice guy route, basically. Okay. And let's see. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard. Okay. Uh, let's do the beans. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and then cauliflower. Okay, so those are watered already. I want to get a few more sap so we can get the rest of our stuff planted and fertilized. The, so the Joja, I, got, I didn't fully explain this to anyone who's new to Stardew Valley. The community center unlocks things around the map. As you complete the different rooms in the community center, the game starts to unlock. So eventually, if we complete... Uh, the first room, I think you unlock like the mine carts or something, and that's like a, a fast travel system around the map. The greenhouse, this this broken down greenhouse right here, is unlocked by doing the community center stuff as well. Or, if you go the Joja Mart route, you can just buy that stuff. You can spend a bunch of money and just unlock it that way. So it's it's like an easier way to play the game if you're somebody who's really good at making money anyway. That's kind of the trade-off. All right. We're planting a full bunch of parsnips here. Hopefully we get five gold ones out of that. And I got all these spring crops. I mean, do we do we just make a spot, uh, spot for these? I guess we may as well. I don't know when else I'm going to use these seeds. One, two, three, five, six, I think, for this one. This is going to be a lot of watering every day. I'll try to start Valley sometime in July, probably. Work on a school project or whatever it is. I'll get some money for myself. Nice. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's on everything. You can get it on mobile. Uh... Unless you have a controller, it's I wouldn't recommend it because I don't know I don't like 
I don't like touchscreen controls personally. Uh, there's, it's on Switch. It's on all the consoles. It's on PC. Obviously, you can mod the PC version. That's what we've done. So we have this really interesting farm layout. Oh, we are moving. This is great. Queen of sauce, finally. We can learn some cooking recipes. Alright. Let's water our crops. We have so many crops now that this will take some extra time, unfortunately. It's alright. Beans are on their own little trellis. So I have to plant those by the edge there. Oh! Yeah, I didn't think that watering can would go that far. I got steam these past weeks and got a few deals. Uh, I do have some money I'm trying to be on the cheap. Wait for a Stardew deal. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, the summer sale's probably coming up. I bet it goes on sale for the summer sale. Oh, right. Yeah, it depends on what country. Because, yeah, I think that was you earlier saying that uh, depending on where you buy it, it could be very expensive. Boom. Everything's watered. We're good. I wonder if I should just sleep again. I mean, we just want to skip ahead, right? We, we got all the forge items in the community center. The goal is the community center, not to make money. So we need these to grow in. Uh, yo, you know what we can do? We can actually... Oh my gosh, wait. We need the animal bundles too. We got to get the coop going. I'm going to need some money. I am going to need to make some money. Dang. Uh, what we can do the fish tank yeah we gotta do some fishing oh my gosh oh I had a couple of these things too yeah we can't speed through this if we want to get this stuff done but what I was gonna say is, in the crafts room, uh, we gotta we gotta get 99 stone for that. So I could work on that for a while. What farm is this? Uh, yes, this is called the Capitalist Dream Farm. It's a mod. Getting the community center done <laughs> is already stressing me out. We gotta work towards a coop. We gotta work towards a barn as well. I don't think we get away with not having a barn. Fortunately, we don't need to do everything in spring. We have the whole year. Thirty stone already. It's not terrible. I'd like to find more high concentrations of stone. So much of a grind here. We're gonna have to do a lot of stuff. Completing this in year one is. This is a lofty goal, even even with the setting turned on to make it easier. I'm nervous. And I think we do need to spend more time fishing. Not only for the, the community center, but we do need to come up with some cash to afford the coop. 
Supplies too. Oh, my energy's already shot. Is it possible to have a small farm layout? I like really small. Uh, there are mods, actually, that give you tiny, tiny farms. So that's also a thing. Uh, there's also the regular farms in the game. They're not nearly this big. Don't get me wrong. They're still huge, but they're not quite this big. Uh, I'm just going to save the fish. I don't need to go guessing which fish go in there right now. Why don't we grab our fishing rod? Maybe put the other tools away? I'll keep the, the hoe because... Oh, wait, we're out of energy. Never the heck in mind. We can't do anything because we're out of energy. We can't go fishing. We don't get to do that. We spent all of our energy. Okay. Glad you're still streaming. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do we... What do we do with no energy? Now should we sleep? Maybe now we sleep because I didn't... I didn't even think about that. How long do we stream for? Uh, usually at least a couple hours. Who knows? Maybe do more today. It's a chill day. Don't have a whole lot going on. It's raining. We got a ton of our energy back from that. Why don't we go to the river and fish? Let's let's clear out the inventory. Now we, we keep the hoe for the purposes of tilling up any little worms sticking out of the ground. Yeah, three hours is always like that point where I'm like, solid stream. We did good. Are you a Twitch streamer or are you used to? Uh, once upon a time. But I, I'm much, much more of a fan of YouTube. Have some friends over on Twitch though. Okay, yeah, let's hang out on the bridge. Do some fishing. What day is it? We missed Lewis's birthday. <laughs> Oops! I'm not too worried about the birthdays in year one. I'm just trying to get through year one and complete the community center. Oh, that was quick. Already got some trash. People in this town are nasty. Just throwing their crap they don't want anymore right in the river. Walking outside their front door. <laughs> turning to the right a little bit, dumping their trash in the river, walking back inside. Twitch offers a lot of really fun um, elements, you know, for streamers and stuff, but YouTube's catching up pretty quickly. And, uh, yeah, I just, I really love making YouTube videos, and for me, it doesn't make sense to do those two things separate. Just have them on the same place. Boom! Trash. Oh my gosh. Modding on Twitch is sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would love YouTube to keep adding more tools for moderators. But they've come a long way. It used to be way worse on YouTube. For moderating and streaming. I'm only catching smallmouth bass. I should probably look up all the community center fish that are available in spring. That way we don't like waste too much time, you know? Got another shad, that's cool. Twitch is the right and main platform for me. YouTube works out, but if I'll ever stream, it'll be on Twitch since I did not post anything on YouTube related to what I was stream. Yeah, that is th that is the thing. You'd want to be sure that you're streaming and posting the same kind of videos if you're using YouTube. So if I was doing more random stuff like I used to, 
Twitch would definitely be where I would be for that random stuff. But now if I want to do something else, I just start a new channel. <laughs> do it on YouTube. I wonder how much patience I'm going to have for fishing. We're doing good. We're, we're getting... I think we're just getting really chill fish. Oh, glad I found your channel the other day. Still watching your Harvest Day video. It's funny. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Um, they had an update. It didn't fix the calendar problem that we ran into, but it did address some bugs. I, I think I'm going to... I'll play that again after there's been, like, a number of updates. It was it was cool, and I like where they're going with it, but I think it needs... I, ne I think it needs some time. All right. Come on, fish. Okay. This one's serious. This one means business. Uh, will I do Discord server on the new channel? Probably not a separate Discord. What I would instead probably do is take the Animal Crossing Discord and, like, set it up for both channels. But I'm not in a hurry to do that. Kind of a whole thing. I like to, to kind of wait and kind of build things slowly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Just chill. Just chill. Chill. Let me catch you, please. Oh my gosh. I've, you're probably a community center fish. And you would make my life so much easier in year one. If you would just get on my line. Oh, you jerk. You fish jerk. I hope you die. I hope you swim upstream and get eaten by a bear. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Oops. I have the patience for one more fish. <sighs> Go around, Pam. Go around, Pam. <laughs> it's back. <sighs> I'm out of here. I hate this. Super frustrating. Oh, well, we we got some we got some good fish here. Let's while we're by the community center, let's go ahead and donate what we can, and that way the rest of these fish are just for sale. We can start working towards the coop. All right, river. So the only river fish it wants is that. So it does not want the smallmouth, tiger trout, catfish, and sunfish. Uh, there's the specialty fish bundle. There's the crab pots. That won't be too hard. Night fish, which I gotta look up. Uh, lake fish. We have we have the bullhead and we have the carp. So we need a sturgeon. Ooh, ooh, wait! Isn't sturgeon in spring while it's raining? Does anybody know? I should probably run over there now. Oh, but I'm too low fishing level. There's no way I can catch a sturgeon. I don't know. Maybe we'll just go there and try it for a little bit. It might be summer. I gotta look. I gotta look this up. It is. It'll be hard to catch. How many more rainy days do I really have in spring, though? Summer. Oh, it's summer. Okay. Yeah, if I got to catch anything while it's raining in spring, I need to focus on that because that's, like, super important. Here, let me pause real quick. I'm going to open a tab here. Stardew Valley. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Stardew Valley uh, Community Center Fish Guide. There we go. Um, fish Bundle Guide. Someone posted one on Steam. Oh, this one says 
Couldn't find a simple style fishing bundle guide that I like, so I made one. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Okay. All right. I want to I wanna share this with you guys. Uh, here. Let me save the image to this folder real quick. Um, okay. Let me add it to OBS. Image, fish, I'm gonna call it the fish image. And then I'm gonna find it in here. Look at this, someone made this and put it on Reddit. Isn't that cool? So this is all the stuff in the fish tank. That is awesome. Okay. So what, okay, by season, what does that mean? Sunfish, catfish, shad, eel, and sardine. So the seasons are at the bottom. So in spring, we need to worry about the sunfish, the catfish, the shad, and the eel, and the sardine. Okay. This is so excellent. I'm so excited about this. Sunfish, catfish, shad, eel, sardine. I know this is still on the screen. I'm still looking. Okay, the sardines in the ocean between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. The... Catfish is in the river at any time while it's raining. That's what we got to do. But we also have the fall for the catfish, fortunately. Oh, the seasons are right next to them. Okay, great. The shad is done. The eel is 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. while it's raining. So we can try to get the eel. Where is it, though? In the ocean. Okay. So it's after 4. We can do that. Let's try to get the eel. And then the sardine is in the ocean as well. And so we can we can catch a sardine and an eel. Uh, all right, let me get the image away. That's awesome. What a great guy. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, my chat is not fully up to date. There we go. Okay. That, hey, like... That person went all out. I love that. This channel is going to be related to Stardew or some fishing games. So this channel is primarily like obsessed with Haunted Chocolatier. However, we don't have Haunted Chocolatier. So Stardew Valley will have to suffice. And I may you may see streams of the occasional other farming games that we find that I want to try out. But, yeah, the primary stuff you're going to see is Stardew Valley and then Haunted Chocolatier. And way more Haunted Chocolatier once the game finally releases. Yeah, that's a great visual guide. I love it. So it's not quite 4 p.m. yet, but we can work on the sardine if we haven't gotten it already. Oh, you know what? We should sell the excess fish now that we've kind of looked at that. We got a herring. Here, let me go ahead and sell the smallmouth bass, the extra shad. The, do we need the herring? Ah, uh, let me get the fish image. No. No, we can sell the herring. We don't need it. Okay. So that bought us... <laughs> bought us. That got us some money. And cleaned up our inventory. And now we can work on the other fish. The eel. We need an eel and we need a sardine. Boom. I'll be here for Haunted Chocolatier. I wonder if most players from Stardew are going to move to Chocolatier. That Stardew is going to get left out. I'm wondering that myself. I think that Haunted Chocolatier is going to be a lot different than Stardew. That's one. It's kind of a fear that I have. Like, will people who love Stardew Valley automatically love Haunted Chocolatier? Like, what if, what if it's so action RPG that it's not, 
you know, it's not the same kind of game, and the people who enjoy these farming type farming type games don't like it. That's a that's definitely possible. Uh, Concerned Abe said it's a it's an action RPG, but I think a lot of people in the Stardew community will definitely try it, and just because of their love of Stardew, they may stick with it. They may re they may find a new genre they never thought they wanted before. You know, so that's that's as well like could be a thing. But if the game doesn't feature any farming elements, yeah, it'll be interesting. A lot of people in the comments of the videos here had said Moonlighter is is a game that it looks like Haunted Chocolatier is shaping up to be. There's the eel. We did it. Let's keep going. That was quick. That was awesome. So Moonlighter is a game about running a medieval shop. But when you're not running the shop, you go out on adventures and you go into like different places and you fight monsters and you solve puzzles and stuff. And then you're trying to find items to sell in your shop. And there's the sardine. We're done. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Support Concerned Ape regardless. I feel the same way. I already know I'm going to love Haunted Chocolatier. But I do feel like those who enjoy specifically like Harvest Moon style games might not uh, enjoy it so much. But I hope I'm wrong. It's just a fear I have. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. Oh, the fish guide is a game changer. This is awesome. So, not the crab pot. Uh, not the specialty. So, we need the ocean fish. And then the night fish. Boom. Okay, so the walleye and the bream. Let me look this, this up while I have while I'm here. So the bream is in all seasons. In the rivers. 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. So we can actually try for that right now. So that's the last night fish we can get right now. The ocean fish. We we caught the only spring ocean fish. So we're done with ocean fish for the rest of spring. Uh, the specialty fish are not anything we need to concern ourselves with right now. The lake fish is the largemouth bass, which we've already missed today. We already have a carp, and I think we already have a bullhead. So I think we're, for now, we're not worried about the lake fish. And then the river fish. The catfish is going to be difficult. I think we have to wait till fall for the catfish. The sunfish is going to be 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. while it's sunny out. So that's that should be easy. So let's go to the river. Or, yeah. Let's go to the river and see if we can catch a bream. Action RPG is not really my genre of game I would play. It's going to... It's going to... Sorry. Can't read and walk. It looks like it's going to be Super Nintendo Legends of Zelda plus Farming Sim. Yeah, it could be, but then there's Undertale, which was an action RPG, and I loved it. That is, a lot of people in like the Animal Crossing community love Undertale. There's another game I can't recall the name. You're a blacksmith. Yeah, you yeah. I think there might be enough Stardew like elements to it that even if you're kind of lukewarm on action RPGs, you may come around to it. But who knows? So now we're trying to catch a bream. We're done. <laughs> What's going on? What's with this luck? How did we do that? How did we just freaking manifest that? That is amazing. Okay. Uh, where's the night fish? Bream. Done. The RNG gods are listening. Wasn't there one more raining? Oh, the catfish. Right, we said fall. Okay. Okay. 
We did good. This was a, this was excellent. I think we did a really good job. So I don't think we worry about the fish for the rest of the season. Does that sound right? For the rest of spring, we no longer need to go fishing. Unless we want to make money, which we kind of do. I wonder if they'll have a big customization. And let's hope Chocolate Chocolate Ch Haunted Chocolate Tears is not going to be some type of Souls Souls game. What it, what is a Souls game? Like oh, like difficult, like Dark Souls. Maybe that's what you mean. Well, I was not expecting to spend the whole day rocking the community center like we did, but I am okay with this turn of events. This is fantastic. Let's see if there's other... Yeah, like Dark Souls. I highly doubt that. Um, <laughs> that would be interesting. Certainly newsworthy. Pickaxe. Sword. Axe. There we go. Swap those two. What else can we sell? Uh, oh, we gotta, we gotta donate a bullhead. We can sell this, though. Okay. I don't... Do we have to donate an anchovy? I don't think so. No. No anchovy required. Okay. So we can get rid of the anchovy. We already had a sardine, but now I, I did donate one. Oh, we got to donate a carp, too. If I don't even mining yet. Not nearly enough. So we keep the carp. We keep the bullhead. We get rid of this. We get rid of these. Mm, oh, we got to donate this too. Gosh. Okay. And we need to mine up some more rocks for the construction bundle. We have time. I know it's dark. But we have time. Why not? Let, let's see if we can mine up the rest of these rocks. Why should we waste tomorrow's energy on something we have the energy for today? I'm not min-maxing the farm. I'm not min-maxing my, my cash flow. But when it comes to the community center, I am going to be a little bit min-maxy. That's, that's true. That's a thing. I know we probably almost have enough there. Got another geode. Never a bad thing. I bet the spirits are really happy today. I think that's why we're having so much luck so many different types of fish. I bet my fishing level is going to go up maybe one or two. Which would be incredible. Okay. Uh, I am stuck. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Lots of new crops. I did plant everything I need, hopefully, for spring. I need most of the stone here. So that's all the stone I need. I need this, I need this, and I need these. These are all for the community center bundles. And then we can go to bed. Boom, level two fishing. Level one mining. Without even a proper trip to the mines. Got a little bit of cash there. I'm kind of a mod gamer, which means if I get my hands on Sturdy Valley, I won't be able to open it since I will get at least 50 mods. 50 is only a fraction of what's available out there. So It's raining again. Awesome. This would be a good day to go mining then, because we don't need to water anything. Hat mouse, and what else? Uh, stone, we can make, place wells in your farm. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm excited. Maybe I should go to the caves. Maybe in, if, if that's the case, we get rid of some tools. Let's put away stuff we might not need down there. I kind of, well, I don't think we need an axe. We'll take the hoe. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. I'm going to bring the axe just in case. I feel like there's something we can chop in, in a cave. I don't know. I don't want to be without it.
Awful Gaming, how's it going? Fellow YouTuber, all around great person, Awful Gaming is here. Hope you're doing well. We're about to drop some stuff off of the community center and hit up the mines. Oh, let me up here. Ugh. I am doing well, thank you. We're we're getting a lot of stuff done, which is a really good feeling. Uh not there. Here we go. There we go. And then we need to Oh the crab pot bundle. That's right, we can put this thing in the crab pot bundle. Specialty fish crab pot. Boom. We should go to the beach to see what kind of things we can pick up that would go in the crab pot bundle. But that's the opposite direction of the caves, so I'm not really tempted to do that right now. The mines could get us the 10 hardwood we need. But I'm not counting on it. It's possible. You do get some hardwood from the caves. But not nearly enough. Should we check the price of the coop? I don't really know. I know I need a coop. I just don't know what I'm, how much I'm saving. Oh, 9 a.m. Uh, never mind. If we get into a point on the on the mining trip where we can't proceed, then I'll see if Robin's still. Oh, it's Tuesday. She's not going to work anyway. Never mind. There should definitely be some stone. We got some coal. We got some uh, copper, geodes. Oh, look at that. Quartz. Pick that up. Uh, should we just do this? Are we doing this? Are we going as far as we can? <laughs> I know I could be looking for stuff, but it keeps giving me ladders. How can I resist? Ooh. These things could drop crabs. And then that, again... Puts us towards our crab pot goals. Drop a crab. Do it. Dang it. We got to level five already. Ow. Nice. I think the spirits are just really, really happy right now. This is ridiculous. I've never gotten through these so quickly. Are you seeing this right now? That was awesome. This is where we could get some hardwood. We did not. We got some mixed seeds, which are garbage. All right. This haunted chocolatier demo looks similar. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Crap! Ow! Give me a crab. Do it. Dang it. Wouldn't that be great if we got that freaking crab for the community center bundle? This should definitely earn us a mining level if we spend enough time down here today. I kind of want to get the bug meat. Boom. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Let's not get hurt. I could chop up the big boulders, but my energy is super low, and I'd rather keep working towards ladders. I want to get to level 10 now because, you know, that's a checkpoint. Robert, how's it going? Welcome. Here we got another crate or barrel. There we go. I was going to say, we're not getting as lucky, but... Nope, we're good. Smash. Now what do I do? Uh, throw these away. Uh, I wanted to keep the bug meat, but we don't really need it. I'd rather have the topaz. OK, 
Okay, we need to get one more level. There it is. Oh, look at that. We got a chest. Here, let's drop something. There we go. Got the leather boots, which means plus one defense and plus one immunity. We can just throw the sneakers away. We just don't need them. I, I could sell them to the guild, actually. And I want the quartz, so... Boom. That's level 10. Let's go... Should we see what's down here? Ah, okay. Never mind. Bye. Perfect. That was some progress. Is the guild open? I think they open at 4. Uh, I don't want to waste my whole day standing around here trying to wait for them to open. The sneakers aren't like... You know what? I'm going to toss the sneakers over there. If the sneakers are still there next time we're over here, I'll sell them. Otherwise, I was going to throw them away anyway. We're going to go see Clint. We have five geodes. I have some more at home, but it's not worth going to get them. I think it's 2 p.m. Oh, I thought it was 4. Oh, well. Don't matter. I'm already gone. Maybe when I have a horse. Okay. Please break open some geodes for me. Let's start the museum. Or the library. Oh, I don't have room. Okay, let's go start the library now. This is going to be a couple trips, I think. Yes, I know how the library works. Thank you. Two to ten. Oh, that's... Okay. I don't know where I got four from. Look at that. We already got a reward? Give me, give me my rewards. Oh. I guess we achieved something. I thought we got an award. 250 gold there. We got to reach level 40 in the mines. Excellent. We should be searching trash cans, by the way. We gotta we gotta work on our trash can lid hat. Oh, some coal. That's not bad. Clint, open my geodes. Piece of garbage. Always so picky. Five more coal. Uh, we got a moldy potato. We got five more stone. We got this orange rock. Not bad. All right. That's a reward. Nine cauliflowers. I'll take it. Let's go home and plant these. Excuse me, folks. Well, this is going awesome. I think we, we plant these and we sleep. We've already burned our energy. Might as well. Not worrying about the birthdays is a weight off my shoulders. I'm going to wait until we're... Uh, the community center is my, my only focus right now. I'm going to wait until we ha we're actually starting to do the chocolate stuff. Then I'll worry about birthdays. Okay. Uh, yes. So why don't we... We'll do a separate cauliflower area right here. Ta da. Let's go grab some fertilizer. Might as well make some money off the deal. That's only five. And I don't have any energy, so <laughs> that's fine. Okay, I'll just, you know, fertilize as many as I can. Cool. Excellent. Maybe we'll get a giant one. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we'll get a giant cauliflower. And I want my tools. Three more geodes, but we're not super worried about those right now. Okay. Should we turn on the fire? Nice cozy in here. Mm. 
What do we got? Queen of Sus rerun. How is it stir fry? I, the, the, literally the first and last episode I've ever seen of stir fry. Ugh, Clint, what is it? I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of your ores, you'll need a furnace. Oh, he's here to give me the furnace recipe. I have an extra one lying around. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks, Clint. Allows me to whatever. Blah, bye. Okay, I'm skipping. You've you've done enough. What are you? What? What? Oh, it's the cat scene as well. See this cat here? I found it sitting outside the entrance of your farm. I think it's a stray. All right. Yes, I'll adopt the cat, Dudley. Dudley's not a good name for a cat. What do we call this cat? Um. <laughs> meow. <laughs> uh. What do I name this cat? I don't know. I'm open to suggestions. Choco Cat. Stray. I like Choco Cat. Kine. I the Choco Cat is appealing to me because we're running a chocolate farm. Choco Cat. Dog. Callie. <laughs> I'm going Choco Cat. We're on we're on brand there. Robert, thank you. These aren't bad names. It's pronounced as chin, it means pain. Oh, I did not know that, I'm sorry. Broccoli to spice it up. Okay, uh, got some items in talk. Deluxe fishing pole, some bait. Uh, you've been exploring the old mine. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned a place in the Adventurer's Guild. And look at this, we got parsnips. Please give me five gold ones. We got two gold ones. Okay, we have an emergency parsnip situation on our hands. We need five gold ones, we only have two. So we need to go ahead and plant more. And that's what we're gonna do. But also we gotta water all of our crops. It's not raining anymore. Which stinks. So now I gotta do all this work. Burn through a bunch of my energy early in the day. You'd name your cat Broccoli if you ever got one. My character does not want to move. It's so upset with me. Will you be upgrading your watering can or just wait till you get the sprinklers? Oh, uh. Both? I don't know what I'll do first. I always end up upgrading all the tools eventually. But th this farm is so massive, the sprinklers are gonna be very important. We are kind of poor, so. Yeah, being able to craft sprinklers would be probably ideal. I'm watering these spots now because I'm just going to go ahead and buy 25 more parsnips, like, right away. What's this thing? Initiation, kill 10 slimes. Craft a furnace. The furnace crafting recipe is 20 copper and 25 stone, which is not bad. We can definitely make one of those, no problem. It's closed on Wednesday. Oh, Pierre's is, you're right. Uh... We'll go to Joja Mart. That's fine. I may not be supporting Joja Mart's expansion, 
But I'm, you know, I'm certainly not a fan of Pierre either. So if he's going to close on Wednesday, I don't mind giving my business to someone who's open. Okay. There we go. 25 more parsnips for me. Cool. All right. So we could go back to the mines and make it a point to kill the 10 slimes. Uh, we should craft a furnace. Like We should knock out some of those quests that are filling up our queue. Yeah, if you want to just buy something, you can just go to JoJo. I remember the first time I played this, I flat out refused to go to JoJo Mart for anything. It just felt wrong. Like, why would I do that? <laughs> but now... Now I hate Pierre, so <laughs> that's why. That's specifically why I would do that. Okay, parsnips are planted. Should we, do I go to the mines? You know what, I'm almost out of energy. So probably not a great day to go to the mines. Let's just kind of clear off our paths a little bit more. Never went to JoJo in any of your runs? Yeah, it just feels wrong, right? There's like all kinds of trees trying to grow on our paths. Get out of here. Like, go away. Ugh. What season are we in? We are in spring. So it's the first year, first spring. And uh, for those of you who joined a little bit later, the goal is to finish the community center, not to get rich or anything like that. I'm just trying to get by because you don't unlock chocolate until year two with the mod I have. So we need to find something to do. So the year one goal is to complete the community center. And then the the next thing we want to do is, um, sorry, I keep getting distracted. The next thing we want to do is work towards the clock. So once we get chocolate unlocked, we start to really make our money. That's what I'm all about, unlocking chocolate. Then we make our money, and from, the, from that point, we're able to uh, start expanding into, you know, the rest of the game. And the plan, the main plan is to get the golden clock. I'm probably going to put it right here on this heart space, or I don't know, somewhere over here, because this space isn't designated for anything. Uh, this is the Capitalist Dream Farm. It's a mod. And uh, this is the full layout. And I, I grabbed this image specifically because of the uh, picture that tells you kind of what everything is supposed to be. Like where everything's supposed to go. So that's what it all looks like cleaned up. And as you saw, I'm nowhere near cleaning. I'm nowhere near clean yet with this place. So I'm just in the background chopping up some grass while you look at that map. So you can get an idea of how awesome this farm is. I can't wait to fill it out. Especially with chocolate. That That is the goal. Yeah, designing this farm is going to be really, really cool. I cannot wait. It's huge. Yeah, it's huge enormous. What are the arrows pointing at? Uh, they're just trying to point very specifically at the different spots. So, like, it's where it says trees, there's these little bits in the ground, and it's trying to point at those to let you know, like, they've mapped out exactly where the trees are supposed to go. So, I'm walking over there now. So, I think that's down here. Where I'm standing right now is where the trees get lined up, I think. Or not. No, I think this is just a plot. Where where do the trees go? We need a silo. I'm losing out on all kinds of animal fodder here. Where am I? Oh, so the trees I'm really close. So the trees go here. Okay, see these dark spots in the ground? 
Let me try to uncover them with the... So this dark spot, and th this is what the arrows are pointing at. They're like, plant your tree right here. That's what that is. So you have to build the farm exactly like on the map. No, uh, you can do whatever you want, but I chose this specifically because I wanted to follow that guide because I do like it. I'm not good at sorting my farms in Stardew Valley. And when I saw this super organized map, I'm like, yes, yes, please. Things are getting cleared out. It's it's slow, but it's working. Oh, sorry. Uh, the arrow with the letter A at the bottom right. And there's also one at the top. I'll show you that. Check this out. This map is so big that they made a fast travel system. That's what this is. So this is point A to point A, basically. And then there's a B, and I haven't actually walked through this yet. We'll, we'll go through it together. So down here, there was like a, a the letter B with an arrow, and it was supposed to be, I think, another fast travel spot. I can't... My, my energy's too low to chop any of these logs out of my way, but I can do this. There it is. See it? So this brings us... Oh, up here. Oh, there's a door. So this puts us right behind the house, but unfortunately, we can't... We haven't have the upgraded axe yet, so we can't actually, like, benefit from this at the, at the moment. But yeah, that's what that is. So that's just for getting around quicker. Oh, so frustrating not be able to see what you're doing. Look, there's already trees planted. Do you guys just... I just noticed that. These are all tree spots, and there's actually a tree on every single one. I think that was there on purpose. Look, they're different... Uh, it's like maple and spruce or whatever. Oak, whatever the different types of trees are. They're all here. I may not cut these down. We might just put tappers on these. Look at them all. That's so cool. They're already filled in. Those are helpful, like the mini obelisk the wizard gives you. Yes, yeah. Okay. So we became obsessed with clearing out the paths, and now it's dark. Definitely a good way to kill time. But also not very efficient when you're trying to uh, <laughs> go, you know, do a almost a community center speed run. Not really speed run, but... Excuse me, cat. Let me in. I hate that. Mm. Nice. Very good. We did good work. It's raining. Sweet. That means we can go to the mines. What's the fortune teller say about that, though? Somewhat. Oh, they're sorry. They're very displeased today. Uh, maybe the mines is not such a good idea. Lost my favorite axe. We could do that instead. We can do. Oh, a crow. Oh, shoot. You jerk. Oh, I forgot to make a scarecrow. Uh, coal and wood. And we gotta make the furnace too. So copper, stone, coal, wood. Uh, I don't think I have enough stuff for the furnace. But I can make the scarecrow. That was a quest. It was raining. Why are you even here? So there's more arrows that point on this map as well to scarecrow spots. And that's over here. You can kind of see see this little leaf in the ground? It's kind of hard to see. This is where it wants you to put a scarecrow. So every everything has a home already, and I love it. I love this. I love being told exactly what to do. This is great. 
I don't have a scarecrow for this side. I should probably make one, right? Yeah, we gotta we gotta definitely scare some crows. We we earn more and more of these as we do different events and stuff, but I don't mind making a couple because there's a lot of scarecrow spots in this farm. Nice. Okay. There it is. Now we can rest easy. What should I work on today? Anything? Should I just sleep again? Should I keep clearing off the farm? Clearing off the farm's kind of boring. I almost wonder if I should do some of this off camera. Like, there's almost no point in dragging you guys along for the boring process of just clearing off a farm. We should save that. F we should save the streams for more exciting endeavors. Uh, okay, so we can go find Robin's axe. We can grab these this hundred gold here. Why are we not? Do oh, right, Elliot. We're not done with the introductions because of Elliot. Is is the egg festival soon? It's the eleventh. It's got to be really, really soon. Okay, nope, nope, I'm getting distracted again. You know what, though? I should at least clear off the path, because <laughs> I do have to walk on this a lot. What kind of fish does this farm get you, or just trash? Oh, I haven't tried. I don't know. That's a good question. There's another version of this farm, too. Uh, there's the Capitalist Dream Farm 2. I don't know if it's made by the same person, but it has... Oh, my gosh. Stupid mixed seeds. Get out of here. It has... Um, a lot more stuff to it like a lot more areas and one of those is like a hot spring i think you have your own private beach i think for ocean fishing this one doesn't have any of that stuff so i don't know yeah maybe just trash hopefully enough like we can do our own crab pots here that'd be kind of cool oh speaking of crab pots we should go to the beach and see if we can forage for anything Thirteenth. Okay, today's the eleventh, so yeah, we got a couple more days. Excellent. Look at all this. Ugh, it's so messy. I want to clean it so bad. I don't have time, though. Or the energy. Let's try and clear myself a walkway. Go away, weeds. Oh my gosh. You're so horrible. Oh, we got a kids by the sewer cut scene. Skip that. I guess I can go to Clint and give him this geode. Clean the farm is very satisfying. It is. But man, oh man, it's so big. What was I doing over here? Uh, I literally don't remember why I came to town today. Oh, beach. Right. That's what it was. We wanted to go to the beach and see if we can forage for stuff and things. What farm layout do we have? Uh, it's a mod. Uh, it's called the Capitalist Dream Farm. Oh, uh, here we go. Nice. That's for the crab pot. Oh, wait. I came here with a freaking full inventory. I'm such a dunce. Do you guys think I have 300 wood? If I have 300 wood, I can fix that bridge. Uh, Clint, yeah, I could go to Clint's, for, but it's one geode. Let's clear my inventory. And if I have time, we can grab the rest of the geodes and head over there. And let's also see if I have the wood to fix the little bridge on the beach. That would be awesome. At least we can walk now. Upgrade your backpack? I don't have the money. I wish I could. We'll get it. 
We will get there eventually. All right. So put all this crap away. We do not have enough wood for the bridge. We'll grab the geodes. And then we'll head to the beach. I know. I want that horse, too. There's so many things. Like, this early in Stardew Valley is fun. But when you realize, when you start a new game and you realize how much you don't have anymore, <laughs> it, it feels uh, daunting. Just slowly, slowly walking away. And for, for those asking about the farm layout, um, it looks like this. Someone was asking a second ago, and yeah, I have this map hotkeyed so I can show you. It's pretty sweet. It's an excellent layout. The mod's down below in the description. Oh, Clint, right. Before he closes. All right, Clint. Process my geodes. Hmm. Definitely take that. Earth crystal too. Sweet. Donate some stuff here. I want to give you. Um, how about that? that. Perfect. I almost forgot the Earth Crystal was something that Gunther would take. I think I have one at home. I just forgot about it. I gave him quartz, though. I didn't forget that. Alright, so we can't fix the bridge, but we can at least forge up this stuff. We should get, you know, a little bit of progress towards the community center bundle. I think at the end of the day... You do need to get, like, one crab pot. Or you could get lucky and maybe get a an actual crab. To You know what I mean? Like, okay, in the caves. Cave crab. You might be able to do it with the cave crab and then the rest of the stuff you forage off the beach. But I don't think so. It's kind of interesting. I, I, should we just donate the stuff and sleep again? Why drag out spring any longer than it needs to be? So I think that's the fish bundle. The crab pot bundle specifically. So that's this and this. So we need two more things. We can... Okay. We technically don't need to get a crab pot. We can fight one of these and get a crab that way, and we can find this on the beach. Otherwise, one crab pot will easily get us what we need for the last two. So, yeah, you can do this bundle without ever crafting or buying a crab pot, which is kind of cool. Uh, isn't the largemouth bass part of the fishing goals we can go for right now? Yes. 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., so we have a little bit more time to try to catch a largemouth bass. But it's not essential. I think it's in like all seasons or whatever. Oh, we never looked for Robin's axe either. Mm. So come 7 p.m., maybe we'll go grab Robin's axe. Ooh, leaks. Don't mind if I do. Robert, we'll see you later. Have a good one. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I came over the full inventory again. I'm so ridiculous. Why do I always do that? <sighs> All right, never mind. I can't get Robin's axe because I have a full inventory. We need this backpack <laughs> so bad. 
we're here. It's after five. Never mind. I was going to check the price of the coop. Don't have to worry about it because she's closed. We keep getting uh, into really dumb situations thanks to inventories and clocks. Inventories and clocks, the Stardew Valley story. Should we just sell the stuff? Boom, 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 boom. All right. Well, we have a little bit of energy left, so maybe we'll chop some trees and then we'll sleep. I'm kind of focused on the paths, so I'm just going to walk for a bit. See what I can find. Oops, sorry. I think the weird spot in the middle here is for a well. I think that's what that's for. If we're going to build a coop, it's probably good to be doing this gathering. Uh, I don't really have enough energy to chop a whole tree, I don't think. But we can go through here. Look at all the trees. Oh my gosh. Everything's just growing in. Alright, that was our energy. That's that done. <laughs> Never thought I'd find a Stardew Valley live stream this entertaining. Really should get my PC fixed. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck in your PC all set up. It's uh, so fun to, to try a couple different mods. Have I played the expanded mod? I was literally just going to rant about that. Uh, Stardew Valley Expanded I have tried, and I found it so overwhelming that it wasn't fun. I know it is, like, really, like, the people who work on it are just so talented, and they do such good work, but it's so big. I, I just didn't, like, it's not the experience I really wanted, I guess. I like I like light modding. Like I just like having a few extra things. <laughs> Alright, weather report says clear and sunny day tomorrow, perfect for weather for the egg festival. And then what do we got? Tomorrow we'll be holding the egg festival. Uh I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's a nice little house. Might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me the raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand the house. First expansion I offer is in kitchen. And with the kitchen, you'll be able to cook recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you started feeling at home in Stardew Valley. All right. Thanks for that. Oh, the potatoes are done. So we can do that. The beans are not quite done yet. You know, when that crow came by, it ate my green beans, uh, trellis and all. <laughs> I just noticed that. Uh, yes, yeah, some videos of the expanded mod. There's just too much stuff in it. I heard the expanded one is Stardew Valley 2. It's basically Stardew Valley 2. Yeah. That's a really good way to think about it. Lots of new NBCs, places to visit. Yeah, I played it way back in the day, too, so it's even bigger now than it was. And when I played it back in the day, the new NPCs hadn't been added yet, but the, some of the locations had. So there were these, like, big plots of land, but they were, they were lifeless. Like, there was no one living there, so you could just, like, walk around these farms, but not interact with anything or do anything. And I thought, well, this is kind of cool, but I don't know. I guess the kind of Stardew Valley expansion I wanted didn't include more NPCs and storylines. But if if not that, then what else would you put in an expanded mod? And I guess, like, some of the mods we have in this, I do like. So I love this farm layout. So more, more variety of farm layouts is something I'm excited about. And I like automation. And so I added a couple of mods to help with automating stuff in the future. You'll notice on this big map that we have, there's no space designated for Junimo huts. 
that doesn't mean we can't put one. It just means we have to kind of shove it in somewhere, right? And so that's fine. But I looked at that and I thought, well, okay. What if I get the tractor mod instead? Because it's not like you start the game with a tractor. You kind of earn it, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the tractor mod. And that's going to be my replacement for Junimo Huts. And then there's also automation of machines and stuff. So I got the automate mod, which lets you take chests and put them next to machines and the chest automatically pull from the machines. So it, it really does automate things really nicely. However, that it just works out of the box like that. And I thought, well, that's not great. So I downloaded another mod that I found, which makes it so you have to use a hopper to make the chest do that. Uh, so that is like an end game kind of goal. So we can't automate things out of the box. We have to like earn that. But that's the kind of experience I want. Like Stardew Valley with some extra stuff and you kind of kind of earn it. And then of course the mods that add chocolate and things like that. I think I'll play modless when I get it. Uh, let's see, making the game completely different than usual gameplay. What's what time is it for me right now? Oh, um, I I run the streams off of Eastern time, so whenever I talk about when I go live, so right now it would be three thirty Eastern time, and the stream started at one Eastern. All right, that was almost all my energy chopping up the stuff. I have 1,600 gold, and I have some supplies. Let's go to Robin's, just so we kind of know what we're working with. In terms of, you know, maybe getting a coop. Yeah, um... I, I've been known to stream in the evenings and I schedule them ahead of time. So I'll try and schedule streams like maybe 8 to 12 hours ahead of time. Alright, construct farm buildings. Ah, 4,000 gold and 300 wood. Okay. Got it. What else could we do? We could go fishing. Well, no, we can't. <laughs> we can't do we can't go fishing because we're out of energy building a coop is like super important we got to get that done four thousand gold what can we do for some money that doesn't cost us too much energy maybe build the silo first I could do a silo first. Silos are cheap, although I don't remember what they cost in terms of supplies. Um, but not uh, not super important right now. They will become super important pretty quick, though. I think what we do is we fish. But why don't we see if we can craft up some snacks? So acorn, maple seed, and pine cone. Okay. I can make two of these. <laughs> That's not great. I thought I could do more, but let's eat it. Lizzie, how's it going? Thank you for being here. Thanks for helping moderate. Uh, is it springs? Is spring thing unlocked so you can go soak uh, up in the building in the energy? Oh, right, right. Uh, the, the, uh, the hot spring or whatever it is. That is not unlocked yet, I don't think. Because we haven't heard the, the rumble. Like there's a rumble eventually. Walks on a rainy day, but I don't know if you got the cutscene for it. Yeah. Spa. Thank you. I could not think of that word. I'll fish. That's what I'll do. We need to make some money. We got a little bit of our energy back. Oh, we got to catch a sunfish, too, and I think they're out in spring. So let's try to do that. 
I like how intense the look on your face is when you're trying to fish. Okay, here we go. Let's pull some money out of the river. Can't remember what it's called in Stardew. Always referred to as the hot springs from the Harvest Moon days. Yeah. I think it's the spa. It's kind of lame for a spa. There's no one ever in there. No one, uh, like, works there. Is it just sauna? I don't know. Farm's looking awesome. Thanks. Yeah. There's the sunfish. So that goes right in the community center. Unless I can find one that's not like a silver star. I want to save the good stuff for me. Oh, okay. Saw a line of standing in the entrance. Oh, right. He uses it for like shelter. I think in the winter. So, yeah. That doesn't really count as staff, though. Although it should. Linus doesn't have a job anyway. Nice. I, I filled up my inventory, but not a bad chest. Used to hate fishing until I learned how to do it. Same. Yeah. I hated it. Final heart event with Pam's daughter, Penny. I do think I, I feel like I've seen that. Hooray! Nice. So we're really close to completing another bundle. Because our farm is almost grown in, and we can donate the cauliflower and the beans, and that'll be a bundle done. And then I think what that unlocks next is the boiler room, I hope. Or maybe it's the rest of the community center. It could just be the bulletin board. Oh, the bulletin board. That one's so hard. Should we just sleep? We don't have a ton of energy. You know what? Why don't we try to fish on our own farm? Let's see if that gets us anything interesting. We got water everywhere. Oh, I did not check the beach. Thanks. That's a good idea. Oh, Dooley. Happy to help. I got some trash. <laughs> Boom. Uh, okay. <laughs> I keep getting excited and it's just junk. So my river is filled with trash. One more. Yeah. Uh. That's cool. I mean, when we get some recycling machines, that won't be a bad thing. Let's go to the beach. Let's see what we can find. <sighs> yeah, the recycling machine will be soon, right? Once we get another bundle done or two. We get it pretty early. Excited for Haunted Chocolatier's lore. Oh, me too. That's going to be cool. I'm really curious. I, I've been noticing, just through making more videos, I've been noticing some extra things about Haunted Chocolatier that are starting to make my imagination run wild. So I'm excited to uh, share those in future videos here soon. Got gold ore. Well, that was an interesting find. 
That's it. Okay. <laughs> so much for that. So we need to find a muscle. And we gotta, you know, kill the crabs in the caves. Oh, there's so much to think about. Oh, it's Friday, too. Oh, this would have been a good day to go to the pig cart. And I missed it. Dang it. Sunday. I think Fridays and Sundays are the pig cart. So, maybe on Sunday we'll remember. I'm going to clean up this area up here before bed. So, we'll do this. We'll do the egg hunt. And then maybe we'll play on the Sunday. To look, you know, we'll go to the pig cart and see if we can get anything over there. Look at all the space behind my house. This might actually be a really good place to put my furnaces and stuff for now. Like all of those kinds of machines that you craft with and stuff. I like that as an idea. Oh boy, do I have enough energy for this? Come on. Dang it. That was it. I want to chop up that rock, but I can't do it. You can still go? Oh, it's nine now. I guess I can't now. All right. Level two farming. So we can now... Do more stone fences, or do stone fences, mayonnaise machines, and the crap sprinklers, the ones you just never use. Good. Go us. Made a couple bucks. Nothing right home about. Today is the day of the egg hunt. So we'll go and water our crops. Uh, check the TV as well. Okay. Ooh, look. Our spring crops grew in. Uh, spring forgeables. Ah. Are we going to have to make several trips? I think we're going to have to make several trips. At least we'll make a little bit of money, though. I don't know if this will be our coop done, but it's something. Nothing fully grown yet. I think parsnips tomorrow. And we need three more gold parsnips out of that bunch. I really hope we get it. We still have plenty of time in, in spring if we don't get it. You could make seeds and sell those. They sell for more than the forageables alone. I don't have any seed makers, though. You're saying if I turn the things I forage into seeds and sell those. Or wait. Oh. I never knew that. Okay, so you just need... I, just, I already screwed up. It's too late, but... The seeds sell for more? Now I'm really disappointed. I didn't know that. I, I could restart the day if I really wanted to be cheeky, but it's not. I'm not going to do that. I've never tried selling seeds of anything before. Okay. Crops are watered. Uh, we can get rid of these. And where is our first coop? Where was that supposed to be? We have two choices. We can put it to the right below the entrance, or we could put it way at the bottom of the map. I think I'm going to go close to the entrance because it feels kind of silly to put it anywhere else. And the only reason I'm looking right now is because it's a mess in here and I thought while we wait we can clean but the egg festival starting now but yeah there our next place we're gonna clear out is this because we're about to get enough money to buy a coop we 
which I'm really excited about. We probably don't want to clean up all the grass because the chickens will eat it, but everything else we'll probably clean up. Rocks, trees, all that stuff. Here we go. This is where we can buy strawberries, which take eight days to mature. Um, I'm going to skip them, I think, because they're very expensive and I need the coop and I don't, yeah, I don't feel like doing that. Where's Elliot? Elliot was the last person we need to meet. Boom. Journal updated, which I can't check here. Yes, let's start the egg hunt. I'm going to beat Abigail. Let's do it. Oh, maybe I should get the rare crew before we leave. Eh, I don't know. I gotta save my money. Year two is the year I'm really gonna take this town more seriously. You know, I'm gonna participate in the birthdays, all that stuff. We're just trying to get through year one with the community center done. Which will get us a lot of friendship points. Go, go, go! Oh my gosh, I got caught on a rock. I was looking ahead to see if... Yeah, there's an egg over here. Did I get it? I don't feel like I got it. There's a bunch back here. Oh, this is so stressful. There's one. He walked right past it. Okay. Let's grab this. Going behind the store is... It takes some time, but it's definitely lucrative. Because you get two eggs back here. Yeah. Um... I got six. Do you think I can get one more? Oh, there's, yeah, there's one back here. Seven, here's eight. There's nine behind a grave. Oh, shoot. I think eight should be enough to beat Abigail. I hope so. And now the winner is me. It's Dan, it's me. Son of a gun, are you serious? For real? I did so good, what do you mean? She's probably the one who hid the eggs. I'm so sick and tired of the egg hunt every stupid year, it's always Abigail. Why do we let the person who hides the eggs participate in the egg hunt? What's wrong with this town? I hate it. All right. Well, anyway, at least we got... We got to give someone a gift. Um, but yeah, we got introduced to everybody. You won in our eyes. Well, thanks, I guess. Look at that. Oh, is that enough for the coop? Abigail's a cheater. Yeah, Abigail sucks. Oh, we're so close. Queen of sauce. Teach me something. Coleslaw. Boom. I'll take it. Okay, we can go to the pig cart today. Look at this. Parsnips. What do we got? This should be our coop right here. This should be everything else. We got two, three gold. We did it. That's what we needed. Yes. Okay. Excellent. So now we have enough to go to the community center and put the quality crops bundle together a little bit more. That's good. Yeah, fertilizer is a game changer. I'm selling the rest because we need the money. And boom. I should plant more parsnips. If I, I know it'll eat into our cash stack a bit, right? But at the same time, we're going to be in really bad shape if we go all spring without, you know, planting more. Streamer, how's it going? So let's go put the parsnips in the community center. Let's go buy 25 more. We'll plant them. 
And then we'll start cleaning up the coop area because I think tomorrow we'll have enough for the coop. Potatoes get you more HP so you can level up. Oh, you think we should... Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we should do potatoes. Oh, you think... Well, I don't know if I'm going to bring them in the caves, though. I want to sell them. Hmm. Anyone in here felt like stopping the time to play the game for hours and start the time? Oh, you mean like in real life? Uh, let's see. Quality crops. Nice. Yeah, that'll be easy. So two more types there. Uh, we're a ways away from you. We'll get the coop soon, which will help there. And this is almost done. I have a potato at home, so these two just got to grow in. XP or HP? I don't know which one is correct. Yep, got the five gold parsnips done. Have I been playing the game for a long time? I've been playing Stardew for years. <laughs> but we've kind of lightly modded it. And uh, we're working towards chocolate. Eventually, we'll be able to grow chocolate. I'm, my plan is to make my entire fortune off of chocolate. That's the plan. Okay. Let's see. Cauliflower, no, uh, we wanted to do 25 parsnips because they're cheap. We'll plant these and we'll go clear out the coop area. Hopefully, after cleaning out the coop area, we'll have enough logs and stuff to actually build the thing. Also, the pig cart, I forgot. We do need to check that too. Busy day. Because we also need to water these parsnips. Potatoes give more XP per harvest. Okay. I'm not in a rush for farming XP, but that's good to know. I didn't I didn't realize it worked that way. But thank you. I think parsnips are a good starting crop to plant a bunch of, like a good return on investment. Down to the pig cart. Potatoes are the best spring crop in year one. Well, I've already bought the parsnips. It's too late now. <laughs> but you already have it. <laughs> Cauliflower is the one I always did. But it is expensive. I've pretty much always ignored potatoes. But now that you mention it, I've seen a lot of guides where people use potatoes and I've just kind of ignored them yeah the cauliflower does take a while uh I was coming down here for specifically oh there's Robin's axe that's not what it was but I just remembered that too which would be a couple bucks and the pig cart which is up here okay let's grab the axe real quick Yeah, I think garlic's year two. But once we hit chocolate, we're done. We're like, we're not, we're chocolate barons after that. We don't plant anything else. All right, Robin's ax is secured. We can bring it to her at the bar tonight if we want. Is that Robin? No, that's Leah. this uh what else pig cart pig cart pig cart here it is okay wow uh i don't think we need hops or the fairy rose or oh hey this we need 
Nice. I know that ate into a lot of our money, but hey, that is not bad at all. That's one less fish I gotta catch. Excellent. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. Uh, oh, Skylark, how's it going? I I take it the chocolate's from a mod, or did I miss something? Yes, the there's a mod that will eventually let us grow chocolate stuff, uh, and then make chocolate recipes, and all this land will be hopefully filled with chocolate. Mud does art. How's it going? Welcome. We definitely need a horse. This takes forever. Hope you had a good day at work there, Mud Desert. Thanks for dropping in. I need... I gotta find Robin after this. You weren't able to get it from the ocean, had to get it from her. I'm glad we looked. I almost forgot to even look. It was a specialty fish. So, yeah. Nice. We got to get to the desert for that. I think the secret woods for this and the caves for this, if I recall. Yeah, the puffer fish stink. I'm, I'm really happy about that discovery. That was... That was next level. That was worth the money. I, I know it's going to cost us, but it was worth it. I don't know any Russian. I apologize. That's uh, I don't know any other languages. I'm not a cultured person. I found your axe. Please reward me. 250 gold. Brings it back up a little bit. Probably not enough, but a little bit. We're doing really good on energy and time, so I'm going to run to the caves. Let's do that. Our inventory is very full, but I'm going to run to the caves anyway. Maybe we can always eat this stuff in our, in our pockets. Oh, the sneakers were still here. I forgot. Remember when I said if the sneakers were still here, we'd go sell them? I can't believe they're still there. Oh, proven adventures only. Here. You know what? Take your, Take your stupid sneakers. Okay, we'll leave those there for later, I guess. I completely forgot about those. Oh. Come here. Ow. Ow. Ah, son of a gun. Okay. We gotta kill 10 slimes. We should work towards that. How many books did I get? I've only found one book so far. The journal says how to win friends. I like to peek at that section. Giving gifts is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual tastes and we'll be popular in no time. Oh, my inventory. Should I just leave now? I can't even pick up the geodes. Let's just, yeah, let's get out of here. Really have to plan for this. You can't just like do an impromptu trip to the to the mines without any space. I've yeah, I've I've made myself uh, quite at home on the Stardew Wiki in the past. I don't like using it all the time because it's oh, I don't know what I keep thinking. It's not a it's not something I like to have up while I'm playing games, like a whole Wikipedia for them. So I tend to only use it like in moments of need. Like, oh, it's someone's birthday. What am I supposed to get them? That kind of stuff. Never seen this game before. It looks fun. Oh, wow, really? 
that, you're not the first person to say that today. I'm so surprised at how many people haven't played Stardew. That's so cool. Um, yeah, Stardew is awesome. See, I can't. I'd almost rather have the copper than the algae. You run a farm. You can make friends with the townspeople. And then I've modded it. So the experience you're seeing is a little bit different. Mainly the farm layout. This farm layout that I'm on right now does not exist in the base game. If you get it for Switch, you can't mod it. If you get it for PC, of course, you can always add that. Um, but yeah. Okay. I think we just go to bed because we'll get some money. Oh, no, no, wait. We have our energy. Let's go ahead and clear out the coop area. Okay, so we want to get rid of the weeds and the trees. We don't want to get rid of all the grass because that will grow in and the chickens will eat it. And that'll save us some money. So let's try not to get rid of too much grass. I'll, I'll have to get rid of some. But really what will make it easier is getting rid of the trees. Start playing two or three months ago, really loving it. It's such a good game. So my farm layout insists that I put a coop right where I'm standing, basically. The darker green grass. So I'm starting here because if we get enough supplies and money tomorrow, I just want to go and buy it. And I want the area to be clean so we can actually do that. I want to be able to see what we're doing, so we'll get rid of these trees as well. I did not win the egg hunt, no. I think I was like one or two eggs short. Abigail got us again. All right. So we can at least see this now, but my energy is really low. Uh, we can take care of the weeds way back in the corner, though. insane amount of weeds. You can see these in the middle. All right. Yep. That'll work. Do the egg placements change with any mods? Uh, no. Not... Not that I know of. No mods I downloaded mentioned that. <laughs> New crafting recipes. A tapper. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, What do we got? So, not enough. Maybe if I didn't buy the puffer fish. Ah. <sighs> That's okay. These aren't grown in yet. We got some cookies. <laughs> Just getting started as a gardener. Crops grown in the season. Thanks, Evelyn, for the random letter. Oh, man. Well, uh, this puts me at about three hours of streaming, so I'm actually going to call it here. But we made some good progress. Uh, we did. I might play a little bit off camera. When I have some extra time just to clean up the farm a little bit. I won't do any big stuff if I do that, uh, just so you're aware. But yeah, for the most part, um, I'm looking to stream more soon. I can't promise when, but be sure to subscribe, turn notifications, and that way you can see exactly when we go live because I will post early enough so that you can know, oh, cool, there's a stream. Uh, thanks, everybody. You're all awesome. This was a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, getting to chocolate. It's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> I'll see you guys around. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, yeah, be safe. Catch you later. <laughs>